Hey guys, it has been a while since I last spoke to you and if you have been following me from my older accounts, then you would know na sobrang dami nagbago and sobrang dami nangyari. So, last week, I posted a Q&A on my Instagram stories and asked you guys if you had any questions for me. And majority naman sa inyo, ang mga tanong ninyo ay about my independent living. Yung mga questions na nakuha ko about independent living are, How's living on your own being like? Hi Bay, how's life being independent? How is the independent life treating you? How's independent living? So we're gonna cover that topic. Tapos some of the other questions were why did you leave your other channel and why the new accounts? Missed you and your content. Why did you stop posting skincare content? And last but not the least, are you happy? Oh, diba? So to cover our basis on independent living, it has been fun, but I would say the first few weeks talaga has been very overwhelming because it was a big adjust adjustment for me. Siguro yung natutunan ko from living on my own, number one is making decisions. Before talaga I was so bad at making decisions, it came to a point talaga that I couldn't even think for myself. If I had to do something or if I wanted something, I had to get the opinions of others. Para lang majustify ko yung decision ko. It was that bad. Pero ngayon, syempre, I'm now on my own. I have to learn how to decide, stick with it, and move on. So until now, learning process pa din siya. Another thing that I learned is how to listen to my gut. Before, feeling ko napaka weak ng intuition ko, hindi ko masyadong pinapakinggan. And like I said earlier, yun nga, if I want something or if I have to decide something, magtatanong ako ng as many people as possible para makakuha ko ng approval sa mga decisions na gagawin ko sa buhay ko. Pero now, syempre, I'm learning so much more about myself. Um, I'm listening to myself even more than I used to. Of course, it's a must. And, um, ano pa ba? I think, pala, the one thing that I realized na sobrang hirap ever since I moved out, ay ang mag-isip ng kakainin everyday. Grabe. Sobrang hirap pala talaga. It takes up a lot of brain power. Yun lang naman. <laughs> Well, it's because I feel like my old account had a lot of bad juju. So, ewan ko, hindi ko may explain. Basta, basta parang feeling ko hindi ako masaya dun sa account na yon. In fact, even before I switched to this new YouTube account, I asked a couple of my friends kung mag-move ba ako to a new account or if I'm gonna stay. Because at that point, I really also wanted to change my whole content. Parang gusto kong baguhin. I was really enjoying silent vlogs, ganyan. And lahat sila ang sabi, stay dun sa old account. Kasi sayang yung growth, sayang yung subscribers, ganyan. Pero ako talaga parang wala yung puso ko dun sa old account. So, I just decided to ditch it. And I feel much better ever since I sa Instagram naman, I moved for the same reason. So, yun yun. So, I have three reasons. The first one is it became overwhelming. My vanity desk, and I also have a whole shelf that is filled with beauty products. And at one point, it just literally gave me anxiety because there were so much products and a lot of them were nearing the expiration date and I haven't even used them up yet. The second one, um, I felt very pressured to post reviews because I'm using a lot of products and I only have one face, which leads me to my third reason. I felt like I was not being authentic anymore. If my skin was having a breakout or if my skin was at its best, I had no idea which product was making it happen. And it was very unfair, not only for the viewers but also for me, you know? I have all these products but I, I didn't know which ones were working. Those are the three reasons why I stopped. If you're gonna ask me if I'm going to continue posting beauty content, I think I still will 
but only when I need to and only if I really have something to share and only if I've used up the product for longer than just four weeks. Maybe I'll use the product up until the last drop before I even share my thoughts about it. So, And also, I have been trying to minimize my skincare products. I don't want to keep a lot of clutter and I don't want to hoard. It's really, really bad. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So ngayon, right at this very moment, I am very happy. I never thought that I would be in this position right now. And to be honest, ever since I moved out of home, I feel like sobrang daming opportunities na nag-open up sa akin on a personal level. Sobrang dami kong natutunan as an adult, as a person. And I'm still learning. Sobra. I feel like sobrang late bloomer ko nga eh. But like they say sometimes, but it's better late than never. So basically, I guess that's it. That is my life update. And if you guys are wondering if I'm gonna start talking in my next few videos, I think I will. But only if there is a need to. Um, for example, if I need to share an important information, then that's the only time I'm gonna talk to you. Otherwise, we are gonna leave out the unnecessary chatter in my videos. Majority magiging silent vlog pa din siya. And I'm just going to keep it balanced as much as possible. So that is it for today's video and live update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. And I will see you on my next one.